foam rolling the lateral hamstrings or the outside hamstrings, specifically the biceps femoris. Uh, biceps femoris tends to get really tight, especially if you're doing a lot of weightlifting and squatting type motions because we're working on turning that knee to the outside. So all the musculature along the outside uh, tends to get a little over overactive and, and a little tenderness uh, through there. So as we're rolling, we're going to hunt up and down. You can go all the way to the top of your hip where your sit bone is, the bones you sit on, all the way down to the outside portion of the back of the knee. Anything in there that feels tender, just like our other foam rolling techniques, we're going to pin and stretch. So we're going to put some weight through that, find that tender spot, put some weight through it, pin it. Then we're going to stretch by flexing and extending the knee, uh, moving that hamstring back and forth. Spend about 30 seconds on a tender area before moving to the next one. Uh, typically, we say somewhere between 30 seconds and two minutes of work on each muscle group. So if you want to move, find another spot, spend another 30 seconds there. That can be very effective. No more than two minutes. After that, it's probably overkill. All right. Uh, you're going to want to follow this then with some type of muscle lengthening drill, whether it's a hamstring eccentric squat or a deadlift, uh, anything along those lines to kind of kind of utilize that new range of motion that you've created with your foam rolling uh, and try to maximize that, that neural change or that, that change in tone that you've been able to create with your rolling. We want to maximize that with either an isometric or an eccentric exercise to, to capitalize on that new range of motion. All right. We think that one will be real nice for you. If you have any questions, make sure you let us know.